Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, yes. So everybody say that in their video in the beginning or the end, in the middle or somewhere and people will get tired of it. Like why do you keep telling people that? Because sometimes you click on videos and you forget to subscribe. You ever went seen a video and you liked it and everything and then you got distracted and you went ahead and you did something else and then you're like, shoot, what was the name of that channel that I was watching where I saw this so and so and so and then you never can find it again? That's why you have to hit the subscribe button in the beginning. But anyway guys, without further ado, this is my sweet prototype Abby by Claire Teller. Um, she was sculpted by Claire Teller, painted by me, and I um, am very excited about her. I've been saying like back and forth like can I let one of these babies go you know because normally prototype artists they they paint them, they show them, they take their pictures, do the pre-orders, once the sales is gone they sell the baby, put them on eBay, auction them or auction them private auction or sell them straight out and you know usually they get a really good price for them and everything so I was thinking like man you know and so I'm really torn in between because I'm like no and I know for sure I'm gonna keep Aspen I'm still thinking I'm gonna I might end up keeping her I just absolutely love her but you know I'm like gosh I got so many babies coming in and it's just so greedy um but I did sell my last prototype so at least I can uh, you guys can't say she keeps every one of her prototypes. <laughs> but this is the tummy plate. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus. But yeah, it's just a half tummy plate. So it doesn't get in the way of the cuddliness and all that stuff. But I typically, sometimes I just don't use them. Usually I can leave these on because it don't affect how cuddly they are. But um, for pictures and when I want to do like lots of poses and bending and you know all that great jazz I just end up not doing it so I'm gonna get her changed in the little sleeper I had been trying not to cover her up <laughs> because I just love looking at my babies like so um, again her and Aspen do share the same limbs um, these are her little feet um, she is what I call more of a peaches and cream, but she does have some modeling, especially in her thigh area. She does have some veining, um, just a little here and there in certain places, but she is definitely, um, she does have some like a little bit of like baby acne. I don't know. Let me see if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, in her face, um. Let me see. Yeah. You know, just a little bit. Um, her hands and feet are lightly tipped. Um, let me see. This baby actually, too, have gums. Her mouth, and she has gums and tongue, but her mouth isn't as open and, uh, like, aspen. But she does have little gums and tongue, and it's hard to capture on camera. But anyway, let me get her back. To focus to where I can change her clothes so um like I said they share the same limbs they have totally different sculpted heads because um, their head shapes are different um, their face facial features are definitely different um, they have different shaped noses different shaped mouths different shaped eyes so they're they're definitely different I believe even their ears their ears are similar but different I think she has bigger ears. So, definitely a sweet little baby. Look at her little bracelet. See, that's why, you know, mommy was saying, this is my puka luka. And she has on her little bunny diaper. <laughs> so, um, and just like uh, Aspen, she is embroidered. Um, as, you know, Claire did that. And so, it's, it's the real stitching. Of course, it's not the little whatever you call it, a, a plaque or whatever, plaque or whatever you call it thingy, where they put the patch on, it's actually hand stitched in. <laughs> so, um, it's really nice. It says, Claire Teller Dolls, Abby Prototype by Miss Randy Smith. So I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so she, um, 
so they're very special to me but um I will let you guys know once I decide I so I get been getting like a lot of messages asking me are they for sale are they for sale and I the true answer is Aspen is not um I'm not sure about Abby just yet you know I'm like oh, I don't know um I know it's a big to do right now with everybody's like oh what skin tone are they are they African American or biracial or this that and other um Abby would be um in my opinion wait let me take your bracelet off first she would still she could she could go either way but for me she would still be um she could still be very much a uh, um a a baby because our babies are just born typically very light when they're born they're first born so i all i just can say is that she's a light skin complexion that's all i can say a lighter complexion um she's whatever if she's my baby she's gonna be see i'm gonna be what i am whatever it is <laughs> she's just abby say i'm just people <laughs> i'm just a little people that's what my mom called the babies the little people the littles <laughs> Um, she called them little people. Oh, when, when, um, the babies were younger, my siblings were younger, she would say, well, you know, I got the little people. <laughs> like, the little people? What? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so she got on her little sleeper. Um, guys, this size is, um, up to seven pounds. And I really like them in the up to seven pounds because it, like, it fits them, like, super perfect. Like the feed, everything fits them so perfect if you are able to get it. Like this is Old Navy and stuff. Um, Carter's newborn um, works just fine. Um, but I do, I really like the, the up to seven pounds if you can find that. But yeah, so in her hair, like I said, her hair is, she got a full head of hair. So her hair can go curly or, you know, lay down as well. And I'm not going to really wet or play in her hair today. But it's very soft and very nice. She's very nice hair. So I don't know. But if I keep them, they're going to keep their names. Abby and Aspen because I really like the names. So that would be her name. And um, so yeah, that would be her name. Her name would be Abby still. <laughs> and um... Aspen will stay Aspen. And I'll probably paint myself one other Aspen because I want to paint a lighter skin tone one to see how it would look. Um, because I wanted to, I was torn into which direction I wanted to go when I was painting the, uh, the one prototype, but I can only do one. So of course I went with the skin tone that I chose, which I'm glad I did because I really it it allows us to be able to see what these kits look like as um black babies which we don't get to get that that often with prototypes um i mean we're getting it now like they at least have one they at least have one you know every prototype um every sculpt now nowadays because of the climate because everybody's been pushing the agenda they say, okay, I'll give you one, you know. Um, so you get one, <laughs> one, one, one AA, and then like a whole six, seven, four, five, three, four, you know, Caucasian versions, right? Um, you get to see it with blonde hair, red hair. No, we don't get to see many redheads, which I love redheads. Um, um, but yeah, you get brown and lighter brown and darker brown and curly and straight. You have all the different versions. So it's so easy to decide if you want the kit. You can see your vision, you know, if that's what you're going in that skin tone. But with AA, it's like, it's just one, you get one, one version. And you better be with a good imagination if you can picture it light or dark. And because we have so many blends and it does change, 
um, so much with the um, the skin tones. The skin tones change um, the way the baby looks a lot. <laughs> so you have to really kind of imagine, especially back in the day when we didn't get no different. We only got just all Caucasian. So for the um, people that were wanting um, to have a black doll, um, it was kind of more challenging for us to kind of visualize it you know otherwise so I'm really you know I'm, I'm glad that the sculptors are you know doing you know at least having one prototype um you know and sometime and it I, I guess I don't know if it's improper for me to say but sometime unfortunately the 1AA may not be the most realistic one and so it's kind of challenging that way too but um Nevertheless, um, we have, we have, we have been getting a lot, you know, more. And so it's nice to have that diversity. And I go I'm going to say it once again, I do like when we actually have a mix of biracial baby in the mix as well, because I feel like it's blending the, the best of both worlds. So I, I, I love the biracial babies because um, and when I say biracial, most of the time, most people, when people think of biracial, which can be not just black and white mixing, it can be multiracial or, you know, whatever. But most of the time when we say that, that's what we mean. And I, I, I like it because it, it mixes the two. So you don't pick a side, <laughs> you get the middle. <laughs> so anyway, that's my little skin tone of the day conversation. But anyway... Um, it just seemed like it's just the thing that's being talked about the most, um, these days, but I really, really love her. I hope that I can get a few pictures for you guys, um, on Instagram because I finally got the light just right and I want to capture it before this, before it changes or anything changes. Um, I want to capture it because it actually show her skin tone. Some of her pictures, she looked a little lighter. And some she look a little too yellow, da 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 da. It's like, no, she's like a perfect blend. And I really, really, I really want to catch her, capture her color. So, all right, guys. Um, like I said, I will as soon, you guys know, as soon as I get the information from Claire Teller on the pre order information, I will do another video with both of the babies, put the links and everything and share with you guys. And hopefully you guys support the real sculptors in the community and go out and get your kits. And like I said, whatever, whichever kit that I do not keep, um, I won't pay any more of those. But if I keep both of them, I will be open to painting more of the kit. And a lot of people be like, I don't like keep painting the same kits over and over. I like doing it because... I like to see what all the different ranges I can get in skin tones and how I can make the babies look different with the same sculpt. It's just a personal challenge for me. It's a personal thing for me. You know, um, some babies I only want to paint once. Like Cody Bear, I will only paint once for the public, which is the prototype that's out there. But I have um, Cody Bear for myself. And matter of fact, I'm trying to think. I thought I was supposed to get another. Oh, I need to find out where my package is. Um. Anyway, just thought about. Ugh. Gosh, I'm so I'm actually missing a package. So yeah. So I I just want to. Um. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My brain is gone now. I've wandered off again. See you guys later. Bye.